Hello and welcome back to How It's Made. Mirrors, ubiquitous in our daily lives, are more than just simple reflections. They're the result of a highly intricate and hazardous process that begins with silver mining and ends with the precise manufacturing of glass mirrors. Traditionally, mirrors are crafted by applying a thin layer of silver onto glass, a method that is not fully realized until the 19th century. To understand how mirrors are made, we explored one of the world's largest silver mines and a modern mirror manufacturing facility, shedding light on the complex journey from raw materials to the reflective surfaces we rely on. The Discovery of Silvering and Its Modern Application It wasn't until 1835 that the process of silvering glass was fully discovered. German chemist Justus von Liebig developed the chemical reaction necessary to coat the glass with metallic silver revolutionizing mirror production. Despite this advancement, the extraction and application of silver remains a demanding and at times hazardous process. Mining Silver – The Beginning of the Journey The world's largest silver mine, located in Mexico, a country that accounts for around 20% of the global silver supply. This significant source of silver can be traced back to the Proano mine, which has been on operation since 1566. Over the course of more than 400 years, this mine has produced an astounding 30,000 tons of silver, and today it continues to generate over a million kilograms of silver annually. The Proano mine operates at a depth of 400 meters underground, where miners work to extract a dark gray material known as acanthite. The task of mining acanthite is extremely difficult and dangerous, requiring workers to brave intense heat, high humidity, and dusty conditions. With temperatures ranging between 45 and 50, the working environment can be harsh and physically demanding. The mine's silver deposits stretch over a vast 15-kilometer area, requiring workers to dig 3,000 meters of new tunnels each month to access these valuable materials. To facilitate this ongoing extraction process, a massive rotary cutting machine is used to bore through the rock. Over the course of the mine's history, more than 600 kilometers of tunnels have been carved out. Once the tunneling is completed, powerful explosives are placed and detonated to break up the rock, a process that requires precision to avoid collapse. Extracting Silver from the Earth each day, approximately 7,000 tons of rock are removed from the mine and transported via underground trains to central collection points. From there, the rock is brought to the surface where it is processed in a large crusher. This machinery grinds the rock into fine sand and a chemical called reagent is added into the silver to make it hydrophobic, allowing it to separate from other minerals. The mixture produced at this stage is 30 times more concentrated than the original rock, though it still contains only about 2% silver. This concentration is then transported 300 kilometers to the Metmex refinery located in Torreon. Refining Silver, Purification and Separation The Metmex refinery, the largest in Latin America and the fourth largest in the world, produces more than 2.3 kilograms of silver annually. Upon arrival at the refinery, the silver-rich mineral is heated to temperatures exceeding 800 Celsius, where impurities such as lead oxidize and are separated from the silver. Since silver does not react with oxygen, the resulting molten metal is about 99% pure, with the remaining 1% typically consisting of gold. To fully purify the silver, it undergoes an electrochemical process which is dissolved into a silver nitrate solution. When an electric current is applied, silver ions reform onto a negatively charged plate, while gold remains on the positively charged plate. Once the silver has reached its desired purity level, it's sent to a mirror manufacturing facilities. The Art of Glassmaking – The Foundation of a Mirror Before silver can be applied to create a mirror, high-quality glass must be manufactured. Glass begins with silica sand, which is almost entirely free of impurities such as clay, dust, and metal oxides. Sodium carbonate is added to the flux to lower the silica's melting point, while limestone is introduced to increase the glass durability. These raw materials are thoroughly mixed and heated in a furnace at temperatures surpassing 1,700 Celsius. The furnace holds about 15 tons of molten glass, which is continuously fed into molding equipment. As the glass cools from its molten state, it undergoes a process called annealing to relieve internal pressures and stresses and prevent cracking and warping. The slow cooling process can take hours or days, depending on the thickness and size of the glass being produced. Once cooled, the glass sheets are cut, trimmed, and inspected for defects such as bubbles, scratches, or other imperfections. Only the highest quality glass is passed for use in mirrors. Silvering the glass, turning glass into mirrors. 
In the mirror factory, the glass sheets are cleaned and prepared for silvering. The first step in the process is to dissolve solid silver in nitric acid, creating silver nitrate. Before applying the silver, the glass must be thoroughly cleaned to remove any dirt, grease, or any other impurities. This is done by spraying the glass with water mixed with cerium oxide, a fine powder used for polishing. After this initial cleaning, the glass is rinsed with hot demineralized water to prevent contaminants from interfering with the adhesion of the silver. Since silver doesn't adhere directly to glass, a thin layer of liquid tin is first applied. The tin acts as a bonding agent between the glass and the silver, ensuring a smooth, uniform coating. Liquid silver, mixed with a chemical activator, is then sprayed on to the tin-coated glass. Upon contact, the silver hardens and adheres to the tin, covering each square meter of glass with approximately 700 milligrams of silver. A reducing agent is then applied to convert the silver into a metallic state, which gives the glass its reflective surface. Excess of silver is rinsed off and recycled. Protecting and Refinishing the Mirror Once the silver has solidified, it must be protected to prevent tarnishing and damage. A thin layer of copper is applied to the back of the silver, followed by two coats of paint for additional protection. These layers help to shield the silver from environmental factors such as moisture and corrosion. The painted glass is then passed through a dryer set at 71 Celsius to ensure the paint dries quickly. After this, a second layer of paint is applied for additional protection, dried at a slightly higher temperature. The mirrors are then placed in an acid bath to remove any residual residues that may have remained on the surface. Finally, the mirrors are cut into the desired shapes and sizes using a computer-guided machine equipped with a carbide cutting wheel. For rounded mirrors, the machine marks squares on the glass panel and then cuts circles within each square, which are then separated and shaped. Final Inspection and Packaging before the mirrors are shipped to retailers and manufacturers, they undergo a final inspection to ensure that they meet quality standards. Any defects, such as bubbles or scratches, are removed, and the mirrors are carefully packaged to prevent damage during transport. The Fascinating World of Mirrors From the depths of Mexico's silver mines to the high-tech manufacturing facilities, the journey of a mirror is an incredible blend of natural resources, human ingenuity, and meticulous craftsmanship. Each step of the process, from extracting silver to applying it to glass, is both complex and awe-inspiring, making